Hey gang, it's W from Cat Media. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today's tutorial is about taking your music DVDs and burning them to your computer. And then we're going to move them over and we're going to create a Plex library. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to walk you through this process. First thing you want to do is click on your start menu. Then in the start menu, go ahead and scroll on down there until you get to accessories, the Windows accessories, and then scroll down and we're going to pick Windows Media Player. A lot of people don't realize that they have this on Windows 10. Then from here, you have to have a DVD-ROM or a CD-ROM in your, in your computer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put one in there, and then the Windows Media Player is going to find it, and then we'll configure it. Okay, so we got our music. You can see where it says rip DVD. We're gonna go through some settings. So the first thing we wanna do is the format. Move it down to MP3, then your qual quality. It's gonna to default to 192, take it down to 320. We're gonna click the check uh, box for to pull the CD out when we're done. And then here, we're gonna change the location. Now, I have a, a network server, so I'm going to go ahead and change that, put everything on the NAS. But you could put this in any folder you want, apply it, and hit OK. And then from here, literally all you do is click RIP CD. And as you can see, it's going to go down through each one of those until the whole thing is completed. So here, we're going to click on my media server. And we'll click on music. It's going to be my music library. And as you can see, I've been doing this for, for a while now. And those are all my artists and all the folders. The media player will do them all by itself. It'll name them. And it, it'll order everything the way it's supposed to. It'll continue going down through here. And as I said, as soon as it's done with the last one, the tray will open up on your computer. And you just simply take one out, put it again, and rinse and repeat. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's a little click for you, but it means a lot for us. And also, hit that bell so that when we upload new tutorials or new how-to videos, then you'll be notified. As always, stay safe and stay healthy.